Hey what's up guys, it's TNT Boss here and today I'll be bring you a video on how to start making your first gaming videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So before you start, what you want to do is make sure you have your footage already and have some music set outside. So you come up here, press file, new project. So, so over here is where you can do some of the basic things. So you can give it you can give your project your name, so I'm gonna name it tutorial. And you can also set where you want this uh, Premiere file to save. So I'm just going to set it here, my folder. So you press OK and the, you come into here. It might look a little bit overwhelming, but we'll break it down. OK, so to begin with, you want to go up here, File, New, Sequence, and just copy these settings. So you come down to ABCHD 1080p and then choose this one, ABCHD 1080p 60 so what this is going to do, it's going to give you 1080p 60 frames per second video. So it will be the highest quality and you can just name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Main Sequence. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to bring in the files that you want. Here. So you can simply go into your file explorer and um, I'll, I'll use some Team Fortress 2 clip that I have right now. So you can just pick any random clips and just drag them into over here. Okay, so now I've imported two videos and also some music. You can import the music the same way as the videos by just dragging it into this little box over here. So this is where we can begin customizing and creating our video. So what you probably want to do is you bring in whatever video you want here. And make sure you press keep existing settings. This is going to keep the sequence settings in 1080p 60 frames per second. And it's not going to change anything. If you press change sequence settings, it's going to match it to whatever the video looks like. And it could mess it up in some cases, so just to be safe, press this. And so this is where you can begin creating your video. For um, the purpose of this video, um, I'm just going to put music underneath it and just create a short little video, uh, like a short little video example. So we can watch it right now. You can hear how loud it is. So first of all, you can hear some background music from when I was playing the game. So if you want to lower that or maybe delete it entirely, what you can do is right click on the video clip and I don't know what just happened. Okay, right click on the video clip and press unlink right here. So what that's going to do is separate the video from the audio. And so you can just press on the audio clip, which is going to be below the, the video clip. And you can see like, you can see this graph by pressing your scroll wheel onto, onto this part right here. So you can just delete the audio if you don't want any in-game audio. So let's watch our video now. And you can see that the music's really loud. So if you want to change that, you can right click on the music, go to audio gain, and set gain to. So if you want to like, if you want the music still to be the main focus, like the main audio, you can, you should probably only go down to negative 10 or else it's going to start getting really, like really faint. So I'm just going to set it to negative 10 see how our video looks. So that looks pretty good. Um, or that sounds pretty good. The audio isn't too crazy, but maybe I'll just lower it a little bit more. And so this is where you can really start customizing your video. Um, if you want to like, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over all of this and bring it down a little bit so I have some room to work over here. So say I wanted to have a title, so go right click in this, in this area, new item, title, and it'll bring this thing up, you can just name it intro, or whatever you want to call it, and then you can put in your intro, so I can say like, uh, TNT boss presents. And so you can center it by using these two buttons, and over here you can just do like a lot of crazy stuff with the font. Um, I'm not gonna go too in depth into this. I can also make another video if you want me to do something on font, but I'm just gonna use a font I like. Um, and then so over here, you can go up to size and you can just either scroll it or set a certain number. And I'll just set it to maybe 150 and then do it like this. Make sure you center it and you're all good to go. So you might be wondering where the video or where the title is. It's in here you can simply just drag it onto the timeline and there you go so 
might want to edit this a little bit so I'm gonna show you like some beginning edits so what you can do is you might want to fade into the audio so you can go over here into the effect bar up into can search constant gain so what this is going to do is going to constantly gain the audio so what you can do is you can kind of like drag this drag this out so if you don't know how to zoom you press Z and you can hold alt to zoom out or you can let go of alt and just keep zooming in on the timeline so that's how you move around the timeline like that so this constant gain is it's gonna it's gonna have it's gonna go from zero like the volume of zero completely no volume and slowly fade into full, full volume once it reaches the end of the effect so you can like stretch out this effect and you can like lower the volume as we did last time so let's look at how this works okay so there you go that you can see that nice fade of audio so you might also want to make this a little more subtle in the intro so you can go into the effect controls again and search dip to black this is an effect that I really like and you can just drag this into the front and set whatever length you want and it'll slowly it'll slowly go into it'll slowly dip from black into this so there you go um, that's some of the beginning things um, you can Look through a lot of effects here, like through dissolve. And you can kind of just like try stuff around. So once you're like at the end, you probably you want to add another constant gain at the end, uh, just to like make it a nice fade out at the end. And I'm gonna zoom in here so I can get a better look. And I'm just gonna pull this out, and I'm also gonna have another dip to black at the end. So this is just an example, like of course you could be doing a commentary video. This is just like showing the basics of editing. So let's watch uh, the beginning of the video. So there you go, that's the beginning of the video. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do in editing. But I can make a video on that later if you guys want me to. So now if you're ready to expo export, you can go to file and export and then media. So what this is going to do is it's going to export everything you have here. And it's going to go all the way to the end of the of any media you have. So it's going to go all the way up to here. So like around 104. And then over here, you want to press H.264. That's the highest quality. And then also do match source bitrate. Uh, you don't really have to worry about the comments. Uh, you can change the output name. And you want to make sure you, you export video and audio or else you're just going to have one or the other. And then over here, you really shouldn't have to mess around with this that much. But I'll show you guys my settings just in case you want to copy it. And uh, you can press use maximum render quality. Um, it's really up to you. And use pre. You don't really have to do any of these. Uh, I'm just going to do that. And in export, it's going to export to this location. And you can change it by pressing an, out, an output name. And so if you just press export. Um, it'll take a little bit of time. It depends on how much content you have inside the sequence. So like you put a lot of edits into it, it's obviously going to take a lot longer. But that's basically it. So it's going to export to this file location on Z slash YouTube stuff over here. So what you set it to, and we'll see how it looks after the export. So now that the video has exported into the set location, um, you can just go over here. It should be in an MP4 file. And you can just see the video and I'll lower the volume a little bit. But yeah, this is the video. Um, that's all you really need to do. Of course, you can do a lot more things. Um, if you guys want to see more, you can leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll give you tutorials on effects and other things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Team Boss, signing out.